now let us discuss here about don't care condition in k map so we know how to simplify a boolean expression uh, with the help of carnoff uh, map uh, let us see this problem sigma m of 1 comma 3 comma 4 comma 5 comma 9 comma 11 comma 14 comma 15 sigma specifies that sum operation m specifies min term so min term means product operation product operation will be performed on the literals or variables so sigma m specifies sum of product operation uh, here uh, uh, the min terms are given these are the min terms here for the corresponding min terms we have to write one in the table Carnap map okay uh, here one one is a min term uh, here if you observe here one means 0 0 0 1 combination so for this combination the output is 1 so all these are min terms so it specifies that for all these combinations the output is 1 next min term is 3 so 3 specifies that 0 0 1 1 so for this input combination is also the output is 1 next next min term is 4 so 4 means 0 1 double 0 so this cell so this cell output is also 1 next one 5 so this cell output is also 1 for the input combination 0 1 0 1 the output is 1 next 9 means this cell so the output is 1 11 this cell output is 1 next to 14 this cell 15 this cell so here in sum of products the output is 1 for the specified input combinations whereas don't care means for some inputs for certain inputs the output is not specified for certain inputs we don't care about what is the output the output may be either 1 or 0 we should not worry about what is the output so here don't cares are represented with the help of d d stands for don't care or we can use x or we can use pi symbol now in this example let us use x symbol in order to represent the don't care sigma d of or we can write d of 2 6 7 8 so for these four combinations the output is don't care for the input combinations 2 6 2 6 7 8 the output is not defined the output is don't care so we do we never worry about we don't care about what is the output the output may be either 0 or 1 whereas for these inputs the output is 1 so here 2 6 7 8 so this is 2 cell this uh, this cell represents 0 0 1 0 so for this input combination the output is don't care next 6 this cell for 0 1 1 0 combination the output is don't care next 7 7 so for this combination the output is don't care next for 8 the output is don't care so 2 6 7 8 so actually here we have to cover all the ones but coming to the don't care it is not necessary to include all the don't cares according to the problem we will use the don't cares we can use the don't care or we may not use the don't care there is no problem we know that here the group should be in the powers of 2 here we have 16 cells so first we have to search for the group which contains 16 cells suppose that we have 15 ones and one don't care now if we include that don't care then what will happen we can make all the 16 cells as a group so we have to include the don't care now let us assume that we have a group of six ones next we have two don't cares so if we include those two don't cares then six plus two will become eight ones so we can make those eight ones as one group so it is our choice it is not necessary to include all the don't cares according to the problem we may include the don't care or 
we may not include the don't care but we have to include all the ones we have to cover all the ones so let us see this problem already mapping is done already mapping is done if we observe here we have two cells here and opposite also we have two ones so two ones two ones so we can make these four cells as a group why because 0 0 1 0 are adjacent cells so they, they differ by only one variable that is 0 a value a is changing from 0 to 1 uh, next what is the mean term here if we observe here 0 0 1 0 second 0 is common what is 0 here this is sum of product in sum of product 1 means actual variable whereas 0 means complement of the variable so here 0 is common what is 0 here b bar b bar next if you observe here 0 1 1 1 second one is common what is second one d so b bar d plus sum of product so product operation next sum operation okay uh, next what we can do is uh, what we can do uh, we can make these four cells as one group why because if the group contains only two ones then that term should contain more number of uh, literals whereas if the group contains whereas if the group contains these four cells then it should produce less number of literals so it is better to make these four cells as one group so what is the term here 0 1 1 1 second one is common what is second one b next 1 1 1 0 first one is common what is first one c plus next we have to cover these two ones so what we can do we can combine these two ones with these two don't cares so we can make these four cells as one group so here the values are changing so there is no need to consider cd uh, next coming to the ab 0 1 so 0 1 means a bar b so this is the simplified expression for this problem b bar d plus bc plus a bar b so here actually we have four don't cares but we have included only two don't cares so this cell and this cell is not covered so according to the problem we may include or we may not include there is no problem now let us solve one more problem so 1 3 sigma m of 1 3 7 11 15 so here what is one this cell represents one so for this uh, one the output is one next three so what is three this cell represents three so for this mean term the output is one next seven what is seven this cell represents seven so for this uh, cell the output is one for the mean term seven output is one for the input combination zero triple one the output is one next to eleven eleven means eight nine ten eleven so this cell represents eleven one zero one 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 zero one one so this cell represents eleven so the output is one next one is 15 15 what is 15 this one so the output is one okay so one so this cell represents one next zero zero one one three next zero triple one seven next next all ones 15 next one zero one 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 zero one one eleven one so for all these combinations the output is one next to sigma d of zero comma two comma five so what is don't care for certain combinations if output is not defined then it is don't care so we don't care about what is the output so the output of the don't care may be either 0 or 1 it is our choice here the output of these two don't cares are 1 whereas the output of these two don't cares are zeros okay uh, now 0 so what is 0 this cell represents 0 so write x here uh, next one is 2 this cell represents 2 so write x here next to 5 this cell represents 5 so write x here so now what we can do we can make these four cells as a group so what is the term here 0 0 0 0 means a bar b bar so here cd values are changing so there is no need to consider them next we can make these four ones as a group so here the values are changing there is no need to consider a b next 1 1 means cd 1 1 means cd so this is the simplified expression for this problem so likewise we can solve any problem with the help of uh, don't cares very very easily in the next video we will see some more examples on the don't cares